Stumbling block in my life Them no wants to strive One day at a time to give more blessing Even in abundance sorry ain't got nothing Still a call for me king It's more blessing Give thanks life loot and fair present The mindset Blessed love, manners and respect Do give thanks and praise for life This is the mindset program I just saw my host And I'm here with a great honor To be here with the honorable Muta Baruka yeah man, give thanks man, Rastafari. Yes sir, give thanks. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your lifetime no, achievement. achievement no, yeah, I man. repent. Yes. Man. But we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, the 24th. Right, right, and right. The mindset, thought provoking. You know. I'm your host, I'm your host, I just start. And we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, I just start mindset channel, YouTube, blessed love. Blessed love, manners and respect, warm welcome again, mindset program, I just star. I'm your host. After that short intermission break, we're here reasoning with Giza Graham Zane, um an elder that have been an a straight and narrow road, I would say. And um, it's great to have him here. And yeah, we just have to pick up from where, you know, we, 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 we break from just now. Um, yes, Honorable, so the, 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 I came to, the I came to England now in 66, as the, the, the I is saying. Um what 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 was that um like for the I know coming coming straight out of Jamaica now into a different um environment was that the first time the I, I, I leave off of the island to do yeah 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 and and it's a story to you know to tell how that go because um I think that was the year when I when I traveled. I think that was the second year that the, the, the Jamaican government did this. Mm. And there were other other guys from Connell College and other places that applied for this thing. And them here, so them, them are travel. But we know you're nothing. We never hear nothing. And when we say, man, I leave now, I'm going to say, no, you're nothing from these people. One day, nobody decided to talk. Let me phone the ministry, find out what I want. If, what, what happened. When I phone, I, I got to say, I remember clearly, I said, my name is Godwin Graham, because that's my, you know, not my official name. My name is Godwin Graham, and I don't think that means anything to you. You want to what? He said, you are supposed to fly on Monday. And this was the Thursday, me, me calling up. <laughs> and so, they <laughs> said, Still. come. Yeah, there was a male call. And I said, come to, come to Kingston straight away. And so we reached in Kingston the, the, the Friday, we had Kingston Friday. Then because it's government people, them south out everything. We go back up Montego Bay, um, spend the Saturday and the Sunday, getting ready. And then we just, boom, we got in England. So nobody, not even mother who was now in England, knew that I was coming. We just come, we just die. And so, the, if if you're asking me what was the experience, mm. one, of, one of the things that I remember most about it, about the, the, those first year or two, is the fact that being somebody who gets some sort of academic education, so I'm well competent with speaking English, you know, we can angle English, really. Yeah. And, um, but me I talk English to these people and they don't seem to understand me because of my accent or whatever, they don't understand what I'm saying. And that's when about a year or so after that, after we've been there for about a year or so, one day I was on a bus and either the bus driver or the bus conductor, but somebody to do with the bus did something. They did not do it to me but they did it to another passenger. And what they did was so disgusting, why? 
Men det var så lätt att hoppa de andra med dem, men lätt att hoppa. Lätt att hoppa. Hurra! Hurra! Men det var mycket kanske med själv, men jag läste på den här med det. Men jag glömde hurra på dem jag kan patva. Men jag kunde läsa dem och understand every word. Jag kunde tala att every word that I uttered, they understood. Jag menar att jag sa, men look, om jag där, jag tror att jag talar engelska till dessa människor. <laughs> and that's what I realized, you know, that Jamaican language, you know, mm. you, have to, you, have to, you have to know this, you know. People, somebody want to learn French or Chinese or whatever, they want to learn it because they want to be able to communicate with a French person yeah. or a Chinese person. But people want to learn Jamaican language just because it's nice. There's no other language that people just want to learn because they just love the vibes of the language. Yeah. Because you see, when we talk, it's not just it's not something you can just kind of hear and translate, you know. You feel what we're saying. Natural. Our, yes, our, our speech, our natural speech has a power that is embedded within what we're saying. So, so I'm not just Let out the sound because that's why I feel the sound. So we are perpetually inventing new, new words, new way of talking because it just come out away. That's how we stay. So yeah, that that was that was one of my memorable memorable experiences in the UK when I first arrived. When I realized that our language is a living thing. Powerful thing. I learned that. True. I learned it in a very, very graphic way. Yeah. True, 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 true. I guess them man they did um, them did stop whatever them did I do. Or them, you know, most did kind of have some form of remorse <laughs> now. You know the <laughs> wrongs with them. But um. Yeah. Yeah. The the, 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 the 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 I became a graduate a computer um scientist see yes. and um yes. you work for for what the inter computer interface unit seen okay what what was that um because in at the time when you when when the I came to to England um yes. I know it wasn't uh you know in terms of racial discrimination yes. I, I i i i know it's nothing what um black people face today zin probably hold on let me just clarify what you're saying mm-hmm. are you saying that black people face it more now Or less, or what you say? What no? What may I say? Um, it 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 probably would have been more horrible. Um, in at the eye, in at the eye time, cause um, no change would have, you know, much change would have wouldn't have, you know, come into into um into law then oh, oh, like okay, okay. today. I get, to, I get what the I say, yeah. Yeah. So listen now, this is something that I want to say. Right, which a lot of people might not visualize and see into. You see, when we're talking about the redemption of the African race, we know what the white man do and the weapon, hey, I don't want to use the word. The other thing what what that is what them do. We know, right? But you see, it is in my view, an error on our part to think that all white people are just a bag of something, mm. yeah? Because during all, even during slavery time. So, uh, Ola, why you would say it's an error on our part? Why, why, why I'm, going right? tell you, I'm going to tell you why, yeah? During, during slavery, yeah, while the black man was going through, all of them I got through. The white man never got through, you know, because um, you see, you have the upper class, And them just never treat for them lower class. They don't treat them as bad as them treat us. But them, they, they are no respect of person or of race, really. They just 
into what they're dealing with. And if, if that means dealing with the, the, the black man away and then deal with the white man away, because they, 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 you have kids who go and work in the, in the mines, little kids, right? So what I said is that the, the white people, they are much, the average white person is as much a victim as we were. It's just that they have been brainwashed into feeling now that they must oppose us, right? But they are much as a victim as we were. And in my experience, I have found a lot of white people who have been as helpful, even sometimes in some cases more helpful to I than a lot of black men. So I don't make it a, a, a black against white thing. It's a, it's a question of good against evil or righteous people against unrighteous people. And we have to know that in reality, some black men, we can watch it out in the slavery days you now. How did it come about? The black man in Africa who sell out, who sell, who sell us out you now. That was a white man to do this. He did it in collaboration with black people. And even today, you have black people who are still working against us. So even in Marcus Garvey's time, Marcus Garvey had opponents who were black. So it's not mm -hmm. a black against white. It's against, and, right, I'll show you something. In, but, when, when, but we are the elder, but you know, answer my question yet still. You know. All right, you go know, on, you go know, on. Answer my question again. yet still. Uh, See, my, my, my question is um, yeah. what it was like, you know, was it more, um, more severe than, you know, what we have to wear black life matter and no one all of these type of different stuff? Um, I know right. back in the time they probably would have the civil rights movements and them thing that just have probably have come, come into. All right. So, yeah, now, you see, first of all, when you're talking about how severe it was, mm. things like that, you know, is relative. It's according to one's perception. And so, right now, um, in the US, for example, but remember, say, remember, say, yeah, come out of Jamaica with that. You never did a face that, you know. Yeah, me know. Mm. Yeah, me know. But you see, <laughs> all right, let, let, me, let me put it this way, right? So I can put it in terms of my own personal experience mm -hmm. and try to widen it as to what generally applied to, to you could, what's around. Okay, you could put it, you could generalize, man. Right, okay. Well, general, generally, Yes, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice, obviously. Mm. Right? Um, and the youth, especially when I first, after I leave, when I went to England, I was in London, but within a year and a half or something, I was in Birmingham. And the youth, the youth in Birmingham, them had it rough. Right? So um, the, the experience was terrible. But from my personal point, you see, so me, I'll get me, I'll get beat up in a police station, you know, beat, beat. So me know, me know what go, yeah. So, but you, 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 you raise a question in relation to the fact that I worked in the human computer interface research unit. Yeah, and yeah. I think you raise it in that context. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm trying to say now. So you see, how I come to be doing computer science, yeah, is in the um, later half of the 70s, UK went through a terrible time when you had minor strike, you have blackout, three day working week. People start to Whereas before you could have walked out of one job and walked to another job, that they, them days done. Um, and so you find, say, the, the, the place was tense. But I, at the time, you know, what my head was in, you know, was making music. I was just, I, I was just, for me, I was just a natural lyricist in particular. So one day, the, the, um, the, the social security, the, the people, they called me. And they said to me, 
um, they are concerned about my continued unemployment. And so I have to get a job. Or I have to be looking for a job. So I said, I said, listen, right now you have people killing themselves because they can't get a job. I'm killing themselves. Why are you going to force me now to get a job that I don't want? That the next man wants. That don't make sense. Leave me with me, do what me I do, and make the man have the job. You know? You know? Yeah. So, yeah. So the man who must show that now, him kind of show me I say. But later on, him, I get sent now to a bigger boss. And this bigger boss, I'm not taking that. And it's the first me hear this, I don't know if anybody else ever hear this. But the man tell me that. I could be charged for failing to maintain myself. You have a chance like that, you know? And so the man said, I have to be looking for a job. But true, I do have some qualification, you know, some A-level, I have A-level maths and A-level, A-level accounting and some other qualification. I think to myself, so listen, I just going to go to the union, just um, log on to an accounting course. Just to get them off on my back because I know the accounting course, I could do it in my sleep. So just to get the money off my back. Mm -hmm. When I go, when I go to sign up, the man who was signing up, he looked at my qualification and said, Why don't you do computing? So I think, okay, why not? So now, what may I show you now is that from that day, and while I was through, through my time at that unit, this man was like my guardian, the white man now. Dr. Crane was like my guardian. And there are things that happen. Why so much this, we have so we have so much things to talk about, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. But there are things that happen I could talk about that reveal to me that you have some good white people. And mm -hmm. I want every man I want every man to think about that, what I'm saying. You don't have to take what I'm saying, but I'm that's what I'm saying from my experience. You have some good white people and you have some F up white people, and there are some good black people, and there are some F up black people. And it's, a time, it's time for ones and ones to be conscious of who is who and not look in terms of race. Because, His Majesty said, until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes. Mm -hmm. He never said, until the black man, you know, he said, until the color of a man's skin. Right? So he himself, was talking about the oneness of humanity. But he knew, because he started the OAU, he knew, and Marcus, Marcus Gavin knew, that while we are talking about the oneness of humanity, we have to fight now for the liberation of the black man, because the black man is at the bottom. So we now have to liberate ourselves, and we now set the rest free, because what yeah, it's what this is say, until that day now, when everything come level, you know, all is the war. So is we now have to free yourself and free the rest of the world. And the rest of the world is looking, um, large sections of the rest of the world are looking up to us as black people to be the one who show the way. And if I want, if I want is to, you see, a lot of people, they will look at what is what interests them. They don't look at what don't interest them now. Mm. So you don't see what else is there. So that's why, in one sense, Marcus Garvey was unique. Because M Marcus Garvey, he talked with the Ku Klux Klan, you know. Marcus Garvey talked with the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, you know? man. So, so sometimes you have to look what's happening on the other side of the fence. Yeah? And <clears throat> what I say is that... Um, we, we don't have some of us are not seeing how much other people are doing towards our struggle. So you have some, some white people who are willing because Nelson Mandela, when Nelson Mandela went to jail, there was a white man, you know, Dennis Goldberg, who spent 22 years in jail at the same time, you know, for the, for the cause. He was part of the ANC, white man. Yeah. So I said, yeah, man. Oh, look, yeah. Look, look, look. See? Yeah. Look, look, yeah, look, look, look. yeah, man, look, 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 do your research. Yeah. He, um, he was sentenced the same time when, when, when um, 
next Monday was sentenced. So, um, so let me say is that, um, so the, the fact that I ended up um, working in the research unit, again, is to do with who I am and my way of doing things, because my whole university, you know, was again, something completely different. Because under, under the system, you're supposed to do two years, and the third year is supposed to be in the industrial placement. You have to go out and work. And then you come to do your final year. And they, they say that you cannot do your final year without having done your industrial training. Because what you're gonna do in, in your final year is things that you will be based on some of the knowledge that you, you acquire in your industrial placement. Mm -hmm. I never do no industrial I never did no industrial placement. I took two years out. And I spent a year doing music. And I convinced them to let me do my final year without doing industrial placement. So I'm the first person to have done that. And when I finish the final year now, right, kind of final year now. So I uh, say I so much to that. But anyway, in um, when I do when after I did my final year, my project that I did, the university put, put, put it up as an example of the quality of work that can be done in, in that part of the university. And when the, the people who award the degree come to visit, visit the university, I was asked to present my project, right? And so on the basis of the work that they see that I can do, I then, they then, then offered me a place now in the research unit. So that's where I did my industrial training. I did not do it at the time when I should have done. I did it after I did my final year. Yeah. So again, this was because there, there, there are some white people are just people. And, and so, so even, even, even a brother who was supposed to be um, above me, I'm not going to call his name well, perhaps. Anyway, um, he's a man who, who come to me and for me for, for getting ganja, you know, you have to give me, have to get ganja for him. See? So, I said, there's, there's more to life than it's good to expand your view of the world. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll be better off as a people the more we expand our view of the world. So I benefited from that. Yes, sir. Well, yes, so, all right. Um, yes, yes, sir. During your break, um, you 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 took some um, you took some time out and and did some music. See, yes. um, one of your many skills is um, you are also you are you are, you are a reggae, reggae artist and yes. musician. Mm. You 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 did a song um. You did a song with Steel Pulse. Yes. Talk to me about that song and 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 how the song, how did the song come about? Cause uh, at the time I think you were in Leicester. You're probably based in Leicester at the time. I'm not sure. But how did the song come about? No, I was I was I was in Birmingham at the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I. I have the vibes to write music, yeah, rap music. And so, when I time now, things like, so, I want to record this junior. And there was a community center up the road from where I live. I used to live on Murdoch Road. Um, David um, used to live on Linwood Road. Two roads are parallel. And I go up to this community center. And there was a band that, I can't remember the name of the band now. But that was the band that everybody had talked about. So I go and I rehearse this tune with the band. And we have rehearse we 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 a tune. And after a while, you would come to me and say, Listen, man, what you want to do? Them, these, these guys can't do it. I carry it to a, man, to a group that can. So I sent me down to Steel Pulse. So that's what comes to the Steel Pulse. Even though they were next door to me, I never know about them. And we re rehearse the tune. Um, in fact, we were we started rehearsing the tune that I was doing it the other guys, but something tell me said, no, change it and I rehearsed another tune. We got to the studio. So I was in Birmingham at the time. 
we, we don't have no money now, right? So, have a little money, a little money, go to a studio in Shatford, record the tune, we mix it. Even the master, we never buy, we never we didn't even pay for the master, we just left the master. And we record the tune, and when we record the tune, funny enough, I was in Birmingham when we recorded the tune. But Chris, <laughs> there's so much stuff to talk about now, but I just keep out this bit. But I had to leave Birmingham. So when I leave Birmingham, it's like we recorded the tune like I said it Thursday. And by the Saturday I was in I was now in Leicester. So I needed to go back and do something to the tune. So I went, when I went back, I went back on my own to the studio and just make some arrange uh, adjustments. So yes, yeah, so that tune was made in nineteen seventy six. And so by the time now so I moved to Birmingham, moved to Leicester. When I when I, in about four months, still put bus, still put still put us bus out. And I recorded, I pressed about 250 copies of the tune. But after certain things, because now Steve Post, them now try to get me involved in the music business. And, but so um, oh, I said, you know, I saw the business run and me just feel say after I feel said, so I can't bother with this. So, but I've, I've been close up to the music business, close up. So, I remember, for example, being called by Dennis Harris. Um, he had a studio where most of the, the, the English reggae music I come from. And I remember him calling me down one night to the studio. And the studio, full, full of musicians, full. When we say full, we mean full. I can't remember specifically that Rico, um, you know, the saxophonist, Rico was there. Um, I think Ajaman was there. What was Ajaman? Then this boy was the buffet was the engineer. And the man I'm spending all night, all night, I smoke ganja. And the next day, them get up and go, go no music, I make the day. No music, no music. And I'm just here, we saw the music business running all sorts of respect. And I feel like, no, I don't, that's, I, I'm not going to run down this thing, you know? So, but I still was a musician. So I still um, form a band that would play out, but not be part of the music business in terms of making records. So after I spent it, I'm pressing 250 records, we get them away, we get them away. And I, I said a few, but after a while, I just give, give, give the rest. But this is better. And after being him up right now, a brother named Lumba in Birmingham. Every time I go back to Birmingham, and I, go, I don't go back regular, but every time I go back to Birmingham, Lumba will tell myself, Giza, they tune them on. They tune them supposed to be out. No. I know they tune them supposed to be out. But you, oh my man, said me, can't, I don't feel like going back to that music. And so one at a time now he said to me, I said to him, but I don't even have the master. I don't have nothing. Let me say, listen, I will, I will build the rhythm again. And you sing it again because that tune's supposed to out. So he eventually convinced me, kind of convinced me. So he build the rhythm. And when he build the rhythm now, <laughs> I got to my vibes. My vibes. I feel like I don't still, I still don't want to sing the tune again. I want to change the tune. So I change the tune in terms of lyrics. And right now my voice on the panel is great shape. But I can tell you, so just your vibes. I can tell you now what the tune now says, the new vibes. It says, Oh Lord, what a tribulation. Oh Jah Rastafari and I, what a situation. The very first tune the wheelers put out a road, them asked the youth to simmer down. So them do. Them dash where the ratchet knife, pick up the gun, and all that around the town. Can't tell you how many singers and pieces of instrument them shot dead. Even the one Peter touched, hold some lead in him head. 
And from Simmer down there still now, I'm down and run red. So it doesn't make no sense to me to make a bother. They both say we must kill one another. I think we'll change the tune. So you're the tune gone out. If you want to bust your gun, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. Even though when the pipe is done, you go to find to kill some innocent person in the street. She's treating the woman that we know. And if you believe that there's no heaven or hell or judgment after death, you could be right, we don't know. We're not dead yet, so we don't know. But the I don't know either. It's a big everlasting gamble and attack. And we are going. Car, clothes, jewelry, enough piece of paper, and more bling bling. Well, it seems as if there's nothing, to, everything is good for the eyes, so there's nothing to regret. But there might not sense to make a buyer. See, boys, they must kill one another. But listen, ask me something, tell me something. Do all these material things bring you any real joy? And, and although you're acting big, Deep down inside, you sometimes feel like a little boy. And your so-called friends, I think, they're with you just because they think you're bad. But I don't think they really love you. And to live a life without love, man, that's kind of sad. So, my brother, I'm not dismissed like this. So I just want you to know, say, there's no people out there who still want to hug and kiss you, but they're still part of the family, my brother. I say that. Like a gunman. So what I'm sure I say, um, my 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 thinking is up on a different level. So I never I never did the tune again. See. Uh, but the tune there, put on and um what what Lumba did, the rhythm that he did, I mix it on top of the original tune. So the tune I sent it, sent to you now is a mix of what Lumba did plus the original the original track. I break in tell myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Okay, okay so, so it's a, 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 um, the original and, and, and the Virgin um, new mix is. Yes. Um, the two, yeah, two blend. Rastafari. So yes, I. Give thanks to Lomba for that. But, um, you know, after that, um, Steel Pulse big. You know, became you know Grammy Award winning. Yes. So they didn't have anything to do with the song. Wait, wait, wait! When is them? Is them didn't make the song? You know, is is them? Is them play the rhythm on the song? Okay. They're, they're the ones who play the rhythm on the song. So we go to the studio, them play the rhythm on the song. I sing the song. Ah. Now I get the eye. Now I get the eye. Okay. So, 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 if, if, so, if you listen, so I said, I did go back to the studio. Um, I went back to the studio to re-record the backing vocals because when I listen, when I go home and listen to it, the backing vocals was a little bit out. But to carry the band back from Birmingham to to start for again, that would be too much. So let's go back and do it on my own. So the backing vocal is needed the backing vocals as well. Rastafari. Yes, I. All right. Yes, I. Yes, my people. We're here with um the you know honorable elder Giza. Giza Graham. Yes, I. Um, Can I just say one thing, my brother? Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Um it is, I know that I say honorable out of some sense of respect. Yes, man. Yes. But you say, I don't really need the honor, you know. <laughs> you, still I get, say that. you still I get it, man. I don't matter. All right. You still well, I get it. All right. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it. You still I get it. Yes, yeah, man, you still I get yeah, it, man. man. All right, yeah. all right. There is right, honorable. No there is honorable no to I. You know, it's just like oh, you say um, you know, when you saw the king and thing and you know, or oh, your perception of him. You know, what I mean, yeah. that is just the I and I all say right. the I is honorable. You know, what I mean? right. that okay. is just I man perception of the I. You know, what I mean. Right. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, yes my people. So um, yeah. 
Um, we're gonna take a short intermission, and um, you know, if the I them um, love the energy and the vibe, you know, please subscribe. Um, if it's the first time the I them are truly in on the platform, yeah, man, hit that notification bell. So whenever time we die again, um, the I them can be notified. Manners and respect.